guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a soup recipe. This is Instant Pot Chicken Noodle Soup. I think this is one of the first things that I ever made when I got a pressure cooker. So I am ready for some soup. It is fall now. Well, tomorrow technically for me, but for you guys it is already fall. And just ready to get some soup in our bellies, make us warm. It's been cool here in Georgia for the last couple days. Kids are actually wanting to play outside. That's where they are right now because it's cool and not disgustingly hot. This video is actually a collab with some of my closest friends here on YouTube. It's just a couple of us, but we did make a playlist to make it easier for you guys to go from video to video. So make sure you check that out down below. We're all sharing some soup recipes to get you in the mood for fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the ingredients and get started. I've got about a pound of chicken breast that I've cut up into about one inch cubes gonna need some garlic and about eight ounces of spaghetti noodles. I'm gonna need six cups of water with chicken bouillon or you can do chicken six cups of chicken broth. Because I do the chicken bouillon, I will be leaving out the salt. This lemon juice will go in at the very end. This is something that I add that is not in the original recipe. Bay leaves, some pepper, some crushed red pepper, some thyme and oregano olive oil, about a cup of chopped up carrots and celery, cup each, and then one small diced onion, and I like to dice it up pretty dang small. So over here in my Instant Pot, I already have one tablespoon of the olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on the saute function and let it get hot, and then I will add in my garlic, celery, carrots, and onion. After cooking the carrots, celery, garlic, and onion for about two minutes, I added in half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, three teaspoons of thyme, one teaspoon of oregano, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, and my chicken, and I cooked that for about three minutes. Next, I added in my six cups of water and my six teaspoons of chicken bouillon. If you want like some extra broth, I would suggest going up to eight cups and eight teaspoons or just doing like eight cups of chicken broth. Um, it, it's fine like as is, but if you're going to have leftovers of it when it sits in the fridge, the noodles kind of soak up some of that broth. It's still delicious. The noodles like don't get super soggy or anything, but just if you want it to still be super brothy, I would suggest going up to eight cups. And then I also added in three bay leaves and my spaghetti noodles. This was eight ounces of spaghetti noodles or about eight ounces. And I broke these into like one to two inch pieces. I broke each noodle into probably about four sections and then this cooked on manual high pressure for eight minutes and I let it do a natural release for 10 minutes. Once all the pressure was released, I stirred the soup around and I removed those bay leaves that I added and then I stirred in two teaspoons of lemon juice and about two teaspoons of dried parsley. Thank you. 
And here is the finished soup. We just like to serve it with some Cheez-Its on the side. You could do some fresh baked bread or any other kind of crackers or whatever you like. This chicken noodle soup is seriously so good. I definitely recommend you trying it. But don't forget that this was a collab with some of my closest friends. Make sure you check out the playlist down below. It's a short one, as I said. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!